Uh, hello everyone, it's me, Daniel, with Website Candy, and I want to introduce to you guys and show you guys a new tool that Adobe has introduced called Fuse. Don't get it confused with Muse, it's Fuse, F-U-S-E. So here's a little character right here that I created. I can kind of spin her around on the Y and X atlas here, but I can also use different little shortcuts on my mouse here. I just have one finger scrolling right and left and showing you that right there but let's go ahead and jump over here and let's go into a new model here I don't want to save that one right there I already got it saved in my library and I'll be showing you how to do that in a moment here so right here is the different heads that you would select right here so let's go over here to uh, a male this time I did a female last time and this guy right here is kinda of, he's kinda of brute man let me tell you so there it is it loaded in all the texture, the skin tone, all that good stuff. The cool thing about it is you can actually grab certain areas of your model here and you can just go up and down or right and left and you can, or you can just click on it and you can see what type of um, you know settings you're able to do there. As you can see there I kind of made his head kind of smaller and let me go ahead and bring it back up there and the eyes here even the bags under the eyes see how I made the eyes a little smaller I want those beady little eyes on this guy right here and his nose is a little too big so let's go ahead and go down just a little bit that's good right there and the chin we want him to have a real glass jaw there you know so the shoulders I can kind of play with bump them up there a little bit and let's go over here with the body style not necessarily trying to keep you too long within this video here but as you can see right here with the pecs there I can take the pecs and I can bring the pecs up give me more muscle tone I can kind of widen them there the abdomen there I can kind of bring it up and down all kind of different little things I'm kind of just rolling right through this one right here just to show you guys the different range that you can work with so here's the legs here I can kind of take it and I can bring it down I can bring it up there even the knee area there, you know, it's not too much range on some of them, but you just kind of have to play with them to see what you can do. As you can see, I can make the skinny legs there, the big calves there, and I can just hit my Command Z to go backwards if I ever wanted to. So the arms right here, let's go over here. We're going to give him the big muscular arms right here, and he kind of poses out there for us. And as you can see, the biceps here, we're going to pump those up a little bit actually these quads right here we're gonna bring those up a little bit for instance all kind of different cool things we can do there okay so arms leg head whatever whatever so we can go over here to customize so we can use our sliders to kind of work with our model in reference to uh, on, on the triceps there uh, I'm gonna click the torso area there and as you can see I kind of bring that up and down so if you don't want to do it on board here you can mess around with the sliders but let's go right over here to the clothing and we have a lot of different styles uh, me I like jackets I'm a jacket type of guy but then again I'm also just a button-down shirt type of guy as well so actually I think I'm gonna go with the button-down shirt as you can see here is loading and let's go over here to the bottoms now let's give this guy some bottoms and see what we can get going on here um, just some fatigues. Hey, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty cool. Um, you can definitely customize your character. Actually, not to be picky, but I want to go back to the tops there to see if I can get a top that matches a little better. And uh, let's go right here with this right here. So, all right. So when it comes to that top there, what you can do. I really haven't found it yet. I just downloaded it <laughs> this is about maybe 10 minutes ago or so. But actually I can go over here to texture I do believe and I can come over here and select a different texture and I can come over here and I can do different things in regards to the color. So let me go over here and select the color and here we have found it. I like that reddish color there. It looks pretty good. And then we're going to go back to the clothing. We're going to go back over here to the shoes. And we're going to give this guy some shoes. Can't be walking around like a Neanderthal. I don't see any Nikes, so I'm just going to go with the boots. See how those look on my model here once it loads in. Okay, looking pretty nifty. Look like he's ready for war. Okay, so 
come over here to the hair and we can shag him baby we can give him the locks there there we go so you can kind of live out your fantasies here i mean whatever it is that you want to do i mean we got a true caveman that we're working here okay all right so we got to give this guy a hat i am definitely a hat type of guy so i think this hat right here might really say war might really say military and as mentioned we can kind of do all kind of different things in regards to making that different colors if we want to there but not really going to give a whole lot of focus to that right now today um eyewear we can get this guy some shades here we can get him some classic glasses um one thing i haven't discovered yet if you decide to go with out glasses how to take them off okay if i say i don't want glasses i haven't really discovered that yet so um you know definitely suggestions if you know you're watching this video and you want to comment on how it's done even though you really can't see his beard that well we're just going to go ahead and give him a beard there we're going to give him some gloves he wouldn't be right without gloves and then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here no mask we're not going to do a mask and we're going to give this guy a little bit of a mustache here. Got to get that going. And the X and Y, we can kind of see what we've created. All righty. So now what I want to do is I just want to go over here and save this to my Creative Cloud Photos. I'm going to call this um, Thomas. Um, I have a friend named Thomas. He's a big guy, big, strong guy. I kind of created Thomas here. And... Let me go over here down here to my different uh, Photoshop libraries. I'm going to save it to my Freedom library here. And the cool thing is seamlessly without really having to export a file, without having to do a whole lot to it, um, you're going to see the files going to export right inside the Creative Cloud uh, libraries here. Okay, And once it exports over to that library, we're going to be able to actually uh, see this right inside of Photoshop and anywhere you have your libraries Illustrator Photoshop uh, Dreamweaver anywhere we could use this thing anywhere and if you can hear that siren in the background I apologize I mean these guys just wait for me to put my headphones on to record a video in order to ride down my street so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out right here that's my other model that I was working with there and right here is my libraries for any odd reason if you do not get your character to come over here um, right here is the libraries are all up to date um, if you see a question mark right in this area right here on your libraries the Adobe um, you know icon there definitely you know click that and refresh it so I'm just going to kind of click down through here to try to get my character to load in now you got to keep in mind it's a lot of different files it's a lot of things working behind the scenes there so be patient one thing you can do is you can close Photoshop and you can reopen Photoshop in order to um, make sure that everything syncs up there so for the sake of this video that's what I'm going to do I am going to quit Photoshop and I'm going to reopen Photoshop and let's see what we can get going here. Photoshop is now reopening. Pretty fast machine here. It's a little old, but you know, it works pretty well. Uh, where is my character at? Come on, man. My libraries, freedom, right there. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here again. I'm going to save this to another library just to I spelled that one with two T's, the, the way I know the difference between the two. So my library here, actually I'm just going to save it back to that Freedom Library once again and see what we can get going there. Not going to really move around too much, it's exporting the OBJ file. Um, not 100% sure exactly what that means, however, I um, haven't done a lot of research. Like I said, I just downloaded this program. Uh, about an hour ago uh, I've never seen it before seen a couple of videos pop up on YouTube uh, if you guys are not following Paul Trainee, uh in regards to with Adobe you're missing out guy is awesome met him face to face he's a really cool dude and he knows his stuff when it comes to Photoshop so we got it 
It's over here. The character will be synced with Creative Cloud Library. This would take about a minute or two to access the character from the library panel in Photoshop CC. So let's go back over here to Photoshop CC. And there he is. There is Thomas. So right here, I, that was the old Thomas there with the one T there. So here he is. I'm able to come over here, click into my 3D layer here so I can really see what I got going on there and I'm going to select my move tool here and as you can see here is Thomas and I can go over here and mess with my X and Y let me select this tool right here uh, I don't mess with the 3d that often so I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> but anywho um, here's my character though you know and there's actually some preset some preloaded um, different things in here in regards to animating your character to where you're able to see exactly you know see them in motion and see them moving uh which is be really cool actually here it is right here uh so reaction to getting clipped let me see what's going on there i was trying to find this within my little test run and i was not able to find it so let me go over here to my timeline and see what we got here. I didn't think I was going to be able to take you this far in the video, but it looks like we will be able to. So let me come over here and click this. And there he is walking. This guy just came alive. Oh my goodness. And we have a whole bunch of different presets. So we're going to actually kind of come over here and we don't do a female jazz. Lean against the wall, kneeling down. Let's do that right there. So let's double click that one right there. We just added that to the timeline, I do believe. And let's play it. Looks like he's hurt there. So, if, you know, I could see where this could really come into play if you're into video creation, video game uh, creation in any way, shape, or form. Um, if that's something that you're into, that's something that you do. Uh, I could see where this could be really cool. And you can just export this as, you know, a movie or a, um, a GIF file and have a lot of fun with it and there he is jumping there amazing photoshop has come a astronomically long way from the earlier years of photoshop let me get back over here to this back this guy back up and let's do that one more time bam there he is right there so if you guys have any questions in regards to uh, if you guys have any questions in regards to, um, you know, how to use this software, how to use the new Adobe views here, okay, and animate your characters, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you want me to cover. Let me know what you want to see me do. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them. Sorry for the long video, and I hopefully this helps you guys out. Thanks.